So today uh, I'm going to be showing you autofocus continuous or AFC uh, on a Pentax K30 which I believe is the same setup as uh, Pentax KS1, KS2, obviously K30 because that's what I'm using, uh, K50 and the K70. I believe they're all pretty much the same menu. Uh, basically um, using expanded autofocus mode which is what a lot of I've noticed a lot of people uh, fail to uh, turn on um, and then they wonder why their autofocus tracking when they're trying to track moving subjects isn't very accurate it's not very good uh, it's because you need to actually turn AFC on um, it does work for both vertical and horizontal axis uh, axis or however you want to pronounce it um, yeah so basically uh, I end up actually using uh, camera and it's not the highest quality but it'll at least give you a visualization of all the autofocus points that show up you beep, 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 and you know you can see them lighting up all over the place and going all crazy <laughs> anyway um yeah so i'm just basically sitting in the house and i'm just moving the camera around like this uh while i'm recording through the actual viewfinder itself so you'll be able to actually see everything that's happening in there and uh yeah that's i mean that's pretty much it and i'll explain um you know the way the autofocus tracking works uh using select autofocus you can also use select autofocus in afc with expanded focus on as well which is pretty cool so you can use the rule of thirds but still have tracking along those thirds of where you're picking your selection for the autofocus um that's pretty much it. Uh, during the section where uh, I'm doing uh, the video through the viewfinder, um, there won't be any. I'm not going to talk. Uh, I'm using a screwdriver lens, the kit 1855, and uh, you'll be able to hear the lens moving in and out, focusing, while you see the arrays lighting up uh, in regards to the autofocus points and stuff. So that's pretty sick. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Let's do it! Alright, so what I'm showing you here is uh, the back of the LCD screen there and that is what it looks like when you have select autofocus in continuous with uh, expanded. Now the red square, the dark red, that is actually your uh, specific focus point and the rest of them uh, that are surrounding that area are all the expanded areas that it, uh, the autofocus uh, can jump to in regards to the pixel areas and uh, so over here I'll show you so that's what AFC looks like when you just have it in regular select and obviously if you don't have it in select at all then it's just the center focus point that will be enabled and that's it it won't expand automatically in order to track anything so here again I put expanded back on and uh, obviously the top is auto 5 and then auto 11 at the very top which the camera will select whatever it thinks is the focus point of what you're trying to shoot. I never use that because it nine times out of ten it's wrong and I do have a video showing that as well uh, which I'll link on uh, I'll link in the description so once again as you move the uh, focus point around you will see that the uh, array actually does uh, move along correspondingly. And uh, here, you know, that's just regular AFS, so single autofocus, and you'll notice that there is no more tracking available with that whatsoever. I still have it in select, so you can move it around, but it's just going to focus on that one point, and that's it. It won't automatically activate anything else. And here is what it all looks like in the viewfinder.